As we walk, let's give this car eye contact, yeah? Just let them know that we're here. If there was a car there, we'd make eye contact with it. We're betwixt the lines, that feels nice. All right, let's stay down this car, give it some eye contact. Hey, what's up? In a future where cars drive themselves, ads like this won't make sense anymore. How are we gonna be able to interact with cars in the future? When you're gonna cross the street and a car is headed your way, you instinctively make eye contact with a driver to see if they notice you and they're gonna let you cross. In a future where cars drive themselves, how will we interact with the car? Futurists at Daimler are looking to create informed trust by reproducing the empathetic mechanism we automatically establish with other humans. Enter the cooperative car, a concept they created using a Mercedes-Benz S-Class. The roof of the car has been 3D printed to sveltly encase 360 degree light signals powered by cameras and sensors. They're playing around with different light patterns to communicate with the outside world. We saw lights blinking slowly to indicate the car was slowing down. And accelerated blinking to let you know it was speeding up. While the solid band across the windshield indicates the autonomous drive mode is on. The light tracked everyone who walked around the car during the demo, making it clear the car was aware of our presence. They picked teal as the communication color, since it isn't already being used in traffic signals, and they found it was the most calming and futuristic. For the next concept, they're looking to include directed sound to accompany the visual interface. Directed sound is much harder to implement than direct lights, and of course, there's the question of what will the car say and sound like? No idea is off limits to the futurist group as they imagined how we will communicate with vehicles in the future. They strapped GoPros to horses' heads to understand how they move their ears to scan the world around them. And they talked to anime artists who are masters at conveying a lot of emotion with very little movement. What do you think? Are they on the right track? How do you think we should be communicating with vehicles? Let me know in the comments. As always, I'm your host, Nicole Scott, for Mobile Geeks.